Are you looking at hardwiring your dash cam in? In this video, I'm going to show you how I hardwired mine in. Now, I'm putting it in my Isuzu D-Max, but this method will apply to any car. So, what I did was I mounted the camera where I wanted it, and I pulled the headlining trim back and slid it underneath the top of the headlining trim. Then, when I got around to the side, I just fed it down through this gap here and pushed it down. Then we come around to the side and there's a seal. So this rubber seal, you can, this rubber seal, you can just pull off. Once I had it off, there's a cavity along here and I just fed the cable in through till I got down past underneath the dash. Then where the dash meets the kickboard, I fed the cable in along the bottom. What I've done for ease is I've pulled out the glove box. Now I'm going to show you how I hardwired it. So this is one would be for Isuzu people. What I did was I removed the 12 volt port and what you can see is on either side of the port there's these plastic clips you can see the two pinch marks though on either side of the plastic you want to get a small flat blade screwdriver or a trim removal tool push it on either side and try and pop it out then what i did was i found out what the polarity was for the wires at the back and then I stripped back two wires and put them in so that they had matching polarity. What I did next was I soldered them onto a 12 volt socket so that way I could plug in uh, the power adapter for the camera. I've bonded up the wires and I just have it sitting up in underneath and I'm going to tape it up. It's a really straightforward job to hardwire it in. Uh, it's the same as having an additional socket. Um, but it just means that you have the extra room and I've got the extra cable there so that way if I need to tap into a 12 volt auxiliary line I can tap into that line. If you have any questions leave them down the bottom. Tell us what you did for yours. Thanks for watching.